First World War, after all. With what intention did the First World War start? Why did the entire world come face to face with each other? First World War. The First World War was fought between 28 July 1914 and 11 November 1918. In this war, the world saw a picture of destruction that no one would want to see again. More than five crore people died in this fight. A total of eight Lake Indian soldiers took part in the First World War in which about 47,746 soldiers were killed and 65,000 were injured. In the history of the world, the First World War, which lasted for about four years, changed the map of the world. This war was fought between 28 July 1914 and 11 November 1918. In this war, the world saw a picture of destruction that no one would want to see again. More than five crore people died in this battle. Three big continents, like Europe, Asia and Africa, took part in the First World War and it was fought from sea to land and in the sky. By the end of this world war, four big empires, Russia, Germany, Austria, Hungary, Habsburg, and Osmania had collapsed. The borders of Europe were redrawn, and by the end, America had emerged as the world's superpower. World War, II 1914-1918, on 28 September 1914, the German scientist and thinker Ernst Haeckel used the term World War for the first time. The First World War lasted for four years. In the First World War, the armies of the Central Powers and the Allied countries fought each other. Britain, France and Russia made up the majority of the Allied powers. After 1917, the United States also joined the war on the side of the Allies. Austria-Hungary, Germany, Bulgaria, and the Ottoman Empire were the major countries that formed the Central Powers. Due to World War I, the First World War was not caused by any one incident. By 1914, a number of different events occurred that led to war. The causes of World War I range from Germany's expansionist strategy to imperialism and militarization. Germany's new worldwide expansionist strategy. Germany's new Emperor Wilhelm I. I. began a foreign strategy in 1890 with the goal of making his nation a global power. Other powers saw Germany as a threat, causing the international situation to become unstable. Mutual Defense Alliance Various nations of Europe formed alliances for mutual defense. Based on these treaties, the Allied nations were obliged to defend each other if they were attacked. Italy, Austria-Hungary, and Germany were allies in the Tripartite Alliance of 1882. By 1907, the Tripartite Alliance, composed of Russia, France and Britain had ended. Therefore, there were two opposing factions in Europe. World War I Imperialism The increase in conflict as a result of increasing rivalries and ambitions of larger empires contributed to the eruption of the First World War. Militarization As the world entered the 20th century, competition regarding weapons started. By 1914, Germany made the largest increase in its military expansion. During this time, both Germany and Great Britain significantly increased their warship. The militarization of the world contributed to countries becoming involved in wars. World War I Nationalism The desire of the Slavic peoples in Herzegovina and Bosnia to join Serbia rather than Austria-Hungary was a major factor in the beginning of the conflict. This is how nationalism sparked the war. Archduke Franz Ferdinand 
In June 1914, Archduke Franz Ferdinand was assassinated during a visit to Zaragoza in Bosnia. Archduke Franz Ferdinand was the heir apparent to the monarchy of Austria-Hungary. He was assassinated by a Serbian who believed that Serbia rather than Austria should rule Bosnia. Austria-Hungary formally declared war when its leader was shot. Russia's participation was due to its relations with Serbia. Germany then waged war against Russia because of its alliance with Austria-Hungary. Britain, which had an agreement to protect both France and neutral Belgium, declared war on Germany as a result of Germany's invasion of that country. Results of the First World War The First World War had a terrible impact on the entire world. The consequences of World War I included economic effects, political consequences, and other social effects. Many other treaties were signed after World War I. Economic Impact of World War I The cost of World War I was high for the participating countries. About 60% of the wealth produced was spent by the economies of Germany and Great Britain. Governments were forced to increase taxation and borrow from their people. Additionally, they generated cash to acquire guns and other war necessities. After the war, inflation began. The economic impact of the First World War in India led to an increase in demand for goods from Britain. Political Consequences of World War I Four Monarchs Kaiser Wilhelm of Germany Tsar Nicholas, II of Russia, the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire, and Emperor Charles of Austria were forced to abdicate their thrones as a result of World War I. Old empires gave birth to new nations. Austria-Hungary was divided into several separate states. Poland received land from Germany and Russia. France and Britain were given authority over the countries of the Middle East. Turgai was created from the remains of the Ottoman Empire. Social Effects of World War I World War I fundamentally changed society. Due to the deaths of millions of young men, the birth rate declined. People left their homes after losing land. Women's roles also evolved. He made important contributions in many works. After the war, Many countries granted women new rights, including voting. The affluent lost their position as the social elite. After the war, young people from the middle and lower classes raised their voices for their role in building their nation. Importance of First World War for India. Since Britain was also involved in the First World War, and India was ruled by Britain in those days. Hence, Indian soldiers had to participate in this war. Additionally, it was a period of dominance of Indian nationalism, with nationalists believing that aiding Britain in the war would result in the British being lenient towards Indian residents and giving them more constitutional rights. The soldiers who returned after this war boosted the morale of the people, actually. India had supported Britain in this world war with the promise of achieving democracy, but immediately after the war, the British passed the Rollout Act. As a result, a feeling of dissatisfaction arose among the Indians towards the British rule and national consciousness emerged among them, due to which the non-cooperation movement soon started. After this war, with the formation of USSR communism spread in India also, and as a result, socialist influence was seen on the freedom struggle. Reason for India's involvement in the First World War Indian soldiers took part in this war, motivated by a sense of personal duty towards Emperor George V. So, some soldiers participated in World War I to earn extra income Impact of war on Indian politics. The return of Punjabi troops to India after the end of the war also stimulated political activity against colonial rule. 
in the province, which eventually culminated in widespread protests. It is noteworthy that, after the war, a large section of the soldiers became active in spreading nationalism on a large scale in Punjab, when the Montague Chelmsford reforms of 1919 failed to meet the expectations of home rule, nationalism, and mass civil disobedience emerged in India. The resentment generated by the forced recruitment of soldiers for the war created the background for the rise of nationalism. Social impact. Despite all the negative effects of the war, the literacy rate of the recruited military communities increased significantly between 1911 and 1921. Because of the importance of men's usefulness in the battlefield in those days, soldiers learned to read and write for their foreign campaigns. The respect of particular communities that participated in the war increased in the society. Apart from this, a large number of non-combatants were also recruited from India, such as nurses, doctors, etc. Therefore, during this war, the field of work of women also expanded, and they also gained social importance. However, Indian society was deprived of essential services in circumstances where there was already a shortage of such services slash skills nurses, doctors, economic impact. The demand for Indian goods in Britain increased rapidly as production capacity in Britain was badly affected by the war. Another consequence of the war came in the form of inflation. Industrial prices almost doubled in the six years after 1914, and rapidly rising prices benefited Indian industries. Prices of agricultural products rose at a slower rate than industrial prices. The downward trend in global commodity prices continued over the next few decades, particularly during the Great Depression. The increase in demand for food supply, especially grains, also led to a sharp increase in food inflation. Exports of cash crops like jute also suffered huge losses due to damage to the European market. It is noteworthy that in the meantime, due to increase in the demand of soldiers, the number of workers engaged in jute production in India decreased, and the production of jute mills of Bengal also suffered loss for which compensation was given, resulting in increase in income inequality. At the same time, domestic manufacturing sectors such as cotton, which had dominated the pre-war market, also benefited from the decline in British product. British investment in Britain was restarted, creating opportunities for Indian capital. However, this turned out to be contrary to the idea of a war to end all wars. Treaty of Versailles. World War I ended on June 28, 1919, when the Treaty of Versailles was signed. The Treaty of Versailles was signed in an effort to prevent the world from becoming embroiled in another war.